Hello and welcome and here we have three Nintology products. On the left side we have the Nintology Inside i9430. On the right side we have the Nintology Black Pearl 2 i9400 and in the middle we have the Nintology Stealth 2 i9500. And what we are going to do is to compare three of them side to side. And we already know we already know that three of them sports the same processor the MediaTek MT6577 Cortex A9 1 GHz dual core processor with 512 MB of RAM and 4 GB of ROM but what we are going to do now is take a much further look inside the specification the specification with Antutu benchmark system info 9400, 9500, 9430 same CPU same CPU model same CPU frequency 250.25 all the way to 101 MHz the difference starts from here apart from the screen size the resolution 480 times 800 480 times 800 same goes with the Black Pro 2 and the inside but the Stealth 2 have 54 pixel extra on the vertical pixel for 80 times 854 GP render also the same power SGX 531 three of them are the same memory size also slightly different between these three the Black Pro 2 and also the Nintology inside have the same memory size 500, 503 megabyte where you can install your application only the RAM size also almost identical 473 available RAM to user three of them have 512 megabytes but only 473 megabytes available to user and the rest of the RAM are already allocated to the Android system memory Next up is the SD card size which translates to the phone internal memory. So the Black Pro 2 and the inside have 2.1 gigs of internal phone memory whereby the Stealth 2 have 1 gigs of phone memory where you can store your MP3, your videos, your photos, your files and the lot. And keep in mind all in and also keep in mind that three of these phones supports SD card expansion up to 32 gigs camera three of them are capable of producing 8 megapixel camera although this the Black Pro 2 only have 5 megapixel camera but it is capable of producing 8 megapixel photos three of them running on Android version 4.0 for now next up without further ado let's run the benchmark for three of this one and we can see whether there are any difference between these three all those with the same processor so four benchmark application that will be used in this test CF bench quadrant standard benchmark unto the benchmark and also Nena mark 2 First up is the CF Bench, which I'll run right now. So we are going to run the full benchmark, three of them. One and two, three. And here are the results of the CF Bench benchmark. So we're going just to focus on three score, the native score, the Java score, and the overall score. As for the Black Pearl 2, the native score is 8200, Java score 2478, and overall score 4766. For the Nintology Stealth 2, the native score is 8247, the Java score 2519, and the overall is 4810. For the Nintology Insight, 8764 is the native score, Java score 2702 and overall 5126. So three of them perform very close, not that far performance wise. For the CF bench, 
HMR. Next up, we are going to take a look on the Quadrant Standard Benchmark. So, we are going to run full benchmark on this tree. So the final score of the quadrant benchmark. The Black Pearl 2 perform 2794 is the final score. The Stealth 2 2612 and the Insight is 2797. So also very close around 2006 to 2007 for the quadrant benchmark next is the Antutu benchmark just going to run a test and see what will we have here start 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 So here are the results of this tree. The Black Pearl 2 scoring 6879, Stealth 2 scoring 6439, and the Inside 6769. So for the Anto 2, also roughly the same score, around 6000 plus. And last but not least, the Nena Mark test. So I already run this test previously, just going to show you the result of it. The Nanomark score for the Black Pearl 2 is the best 27.5 frames per second. For the Stealth 2, 25.8 frames per second. And the inside is 27.6 frames per second. So in conclusion, it's kind of pointless to compare these three benchmarks scores because three of them perform quite similarly or almost the same. Seems they have the same processor, the same amount of RAM and almost everything is the same. Apart from the Stealth 2 which it have a higher resolution and that explains why it performed a little bit on the low side because it had to process a little bit more pixel compared to the Black Pearl 2 and the Nintology inside. So as a conclusion, we have three Nintology handsets over here sporting the same processing power. So in the end, it's all up to you whether you want to choose either one of them, whether you like the design, you want a bigger screen, you want a better camera, front facing camera, this one is 2 megapixel, bear in mind, this, and this is only VGA resolution. So in the end, it's all up to you. Three of them have the same processor, have the same amount of RAM, so you don't have to worry about the performance between these three, they perform almost the same, only some specific thing that you might want to make decision for yourself. The cheapest one is the Black Pearl 2, the better camera, the one with, with a better camera, the inside, and the one with the larger screen, the Stealth 2. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more Nintology videos.